In this portion of the video, we are going to cover the step-by-step -step process for blindside foundation construction, a top-down construction technique commonly used in tight quarter sites. Let's get started. First, we'll install soil supporting elements like shoring, sheet piles, or slurry walls. Then we'll remove the first depth of soil and install a waterproofing system. We'll construct concrete walls against the waterproofing system. In many cases, we'll also include insulation between the soil support system and the waterproofing system. If you're installing insulation boards, they can be attached with adhesive or limited mechanical fasteners. Check with your soil supporting element supplier for recommendations. When using adhesive, apply enough product in vertical beads to drain any water between the insulation and waterproofing. Press the insulation boards vertically or horizontally to create the most economical pattern. Check with the adhesive manufacturer for recommendations and compatibility. To reduce cold spots or lines on the below-grade wall, make sure to install the insulation as tightly butted as possible to adjacent pieces of the insulation board. The below-grade insulation should be installed to the lesser of two options the lowest floor of the interior condition space, or 10 feet. Consider ordering the R-Max below-grade insulation board at 10-foot lengths for ease of installation. Finally, here are some helpful hints for designing and installing below-grade insulation. Start with a building design that includes building and site drainage to reduce structural loads, hydrostatic pressure, and risk of water leakage. Provide a drainage mat between the soil support system and insulation to aid in drainage. Lastly, to reduce labor costs and board joints, order insulation boards to match the prescribed required depth and install them vertically to eliminate horizontal joints. And that's it! You're now ready to tackle blindside foundation construction like a pro.